Hello and welcome to another episode of Utopia Restorations. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Will and I've brought a Discovery 3. So now we've got a 06 Disco 3. So that takes the list of ownership of Land Rovers. Had a Disco 2, Disco 3, Range Rover 322, Defender 110, Series 3, Series 1 and a 110 and technically another Series 3, but don't really count that at the moment. So we're getting through the models. Left to do is a 2A and more Range Rovers, like a classic, maybe some later models. But for me, we're talking about the Disco today. So in this video, I'm just going to take you for a walk around and show you this one. And then next week, we'll do a video on a buying guide of what you can look out for when you're purchasing one. It's sort of one of the golden eras. It does help back to a lot of the heritage and sort of things that make Land Rovers Land Rovers in my view and still has a lot of the traditional designs. So for example like the split indicator with the lower sort of side light and sort of little designs that scales like that which is what I think sort of Disco 3s. Disco 2s of course much like a Defender. Disco 3s and L322s particularly the later ones sort of still have that heritage of Land Rover to it whereas a lot of the new and more modern styling is a sort of a bit further away from what a discovery ever looked like. So I'll take you for a tour of this one, give you a little bit of information about it. When we got it, it's only ever had two owners in its life, which is fantastic. And the previous owner actually had a Porsche as his main car, and this was the sort of daily. So very well looked after and cared for throughout. It is extremely clean, as you can see on the body panels, no dents, no anything like that coming out in the light. And as well, just to show you that it's been looked after, Michelin Pilot Sport 4 SUVs, which if you don't know, these are about 250 to 300 a corner. So yes, a lot of rubber on that. It's an interesting blue as well. I don't know the paint code and you can't quote me on this, but I'll show you it's actually got some pleasance in it. So here you go. Here's the sparkle in the paint, which is actually really pretty. What I'll do is I'll move it out into the light so I can show you a bit better in a minute. But yeah, exterior, all pretty clean. It is in 4x4 mode because it always looks cooler. We've got these chrome side steps. Now I was looking at maybe removing these. However, I've had a look and they're about £400. Um, so those are definitely staying on. Got some chrome caps, which somehow does actually pull in with the navy, the extra chrome trims, silver wheels. I think it all sort of works well together and the roof rails. As you can maybe see here, prior to me, brand new lower drop arms and we just put a new air strut on the front so air suspension's all working no fault codes lovely and beautiful it does have quite a cool feature inside but i'll just take you for an outside and then we'll move in but yeah that's really about it for the outside there's not really much support no real accessories just a good honest land rover you can see a nice shiny strut in there yeah very clean very straight i'll take you in so navy with a cream interior which i do have to say does work pretty well you've got adjustable seats with memory one of the things I do have to say before I take you around the full interior of this one is the spec level on it, I think is pretty high. To me, this is probably quite similar to an L322, if not exactly the same, as it's got a lot of features, not much that's missing than my L322 had. So I've just shown you the memory seats. They are full leather and cream, very little damage or any wear on them over their time. And on the front, we've got the beautiful heated seats, which is something you definitely want. They've got the old school sort of numbers, which I always think is quite cool. And you've got the L322 sat nav in there which is the similar one. One thing that if you don't know about discos, you may recognise this. Yes, it's the same as a Puma. However, you do actually have a digital dash in there, which I'll show you when I turn it on. Cup holders that you can actually fit things in and you can take those out to clean. All your lovely little dials here. This is an auto, which is actually quite nice. And my favourite part in here is, yes, that is a functioning and working fridge. So no need to worry about any of that or cold drinks when you're on a trip out. It's got a functioning fridge slightly old school here there is your module to put your phone in so that's how you connect the phone as they didn't have bluetooth uh, they sort of had the phone that connects in there but yeah it's got a fridge 12 volt and more storage here it's just pretty spacious it's a pretty big barge you've got a lot of room got a lot of arm room between me and the driver next to you other cool bits on this one not one sunroof not two sunroofs but yes three sunroofs in the back so here you go, just show you the dash, because it's binging away on me. Uh, we are in 4x4 mode, and for some reason we are in downhill descent, which I'm not sure why, so we're going to take some of that. So turn that off, and I generally have it in the 4x4 mode, it's particularly my favourite. It's not too advanced, I'll be honest, but it is touchscreen, and the favourite is onto the main menu, and you go into 4x4 info. 
Carmen, Carmen Hardman, Carmen Hardman um, speakers. So you've got a lot of speakers around, which is always very nice. Here you go, all very simple, but things do work. And I quite like the number pad here. It does have a phone, but that's only when the phone is plugged in. And yes, it does have audio. And she seats again. So let's have a look in the rear. I don't know, don't think it's actually had children in it. It's not like scraped, scuffed or anything like that. It's all pretty clean. Same again down below. And you have heated seats in the rear. Like I was saying, very similar to a Range Rover. You have your own sunroof. You have your own climate control as well. So you can choose how hot or cold you want it back here. And you have these, which are pretty cool. Each seat's got one. If you don't want to listen to what everyone else is listening to, plug in your aux, change the mode, change the songs, and listen what you'd like to on the radio if you don't want to listen to your parents. And yeah, it's just pretty cool all in all. Can fold down to be in a van. And I do have to say it's quite a sizable one, but this one has got something quite cool in the back. So not only is it a huge boot with a split tailgate, which I thoroughly miss from my Range Rover, but as you can see here, two extra seats. And they are pretty big. So here you go, there are the full size seats. Now, what I'm gonna do is I put these down. What you can do is tip them forward to get in, but if you are nimble enough, you can stand there and get in the back. And I'm gonna get in and show you how big they are. So here you go, you join me in the very rear of the car. I am six foot two-ish, maybe six foot three, and I'm pretty comfortable. I might actually add that this is probably larger than the space in there because you've only got two sort of back here. And oh yeah, I'll show you about in here. You see, very nice big armrest. And you've got a very nice big arm tub, unless you've filled that with things. And same again, I can choose back here if I want to send something different. And I have a mega cup size holder. So here you go, seats are up. If I put my knees together like this, yes, maybe not as big, but if you do a bit of man spreading, it's actually not too bad. And I'm not going to infringe on my passenger next to me. Yeah, it's actually quite comfortable down here. I'm going to jump out, take a quick walk around and show you about some of the new things that we've got in stock here. So we have just launched our new awesome clothing collection, so I'll show you a few of them. These are the blue ones, and we've got, if you're a Land Rover lover, if you just like old motorbikes, or if you're into any sort of cars. We've got Venture and Weights, which on the front is embroidered. We've got Old is Gold, which is always very true, with a Valor set, Old is Gold on the front. Road Rally Race, the three disciplines that are the best. And buy more cars, because you always need that in your life. So yeah, these are online and in store. I'll tag them in the video and check them out below in the description. So just give you a quick final walk around and a summary. So yes, we have this beautiful disco here and very much enjoyed driving it. The things that we've had done, we've had new tire trackings done and we had a new front air strut put on it. So your air suspension is always working, which is a worry. I will be posting next week a video of a buying guide for one of these. So if you are looking for one, have a look at that. But equally, this one is for sale. Thoroughly enjoyed it and really like walking around in it. But sadly, they have to go. This one is up for sale. We're going to be putting the description info below. If you are interested, drop me a message on Instagram or find me through our website. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And as always, please make sure you drop a like and a subscribe below. It massively helps the channel and helps us grow. And then we can get more stock like this in for you to have a look at and give you buying guide videos and things around them. As always, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next week.